Good morning, YouTubers, fellow pipe smokers, fellow people who want to listen to me drone on about whatever. Smoking my Peterson system pipe, the 317. Wonderful pipe. In it, I have a just an aromatic from the tinder box called Wilshire. Uh, not an overly exciting tobacco. Um, but I had to smoke it to move on to the next tobacco, whatever that might be. I've kind of got a collection of tobaccos, and my wife is getting to the point where you need to smoke what you have before you get more. Happy wife, happy life, right? So, here we are. I think today we're going to talk maybe a little bit about uh, some Ralph Waldo Emerson. See what he has to say. The great Ralph Waldo Emerson. Love him. Hard to read. Fantastic to read. It's like sex for the brain, man. He wrote an essay called Self-Reliance. Self-Reliance. In that essay, he says many things that have to do with becoming more self-reliant. I'm going to read just a few little passages out of self-reliance to help communicate the gist of what I think he's telling us. Whoso would be a man must be a nonconformist. He who would gather immortal palms must not be hindered by the name of goodness, but must explore if it be goodness. My life is not an apology, but a life. It is for itself and not for a spectacle. What I must do is all that concerns me not what people think. It is harder because you will always find those who think they know what is your duty better than you know it. It is easy in the world to live after the world's opinion. It is easy in solitude to live after our own. But the great man is he who in the midst of the crowd keeps with perfect sweetness the independence of solitude. Let's go back to the first line here. Whoso would be a man must be a nonconformist. What Emerson is saying was that men or women people to be real you need to be a non-conformist one that does not conform to the expectations of society and that is not wavered by such things now yeah. 
most of my life I've been a conformist in some degree. I think we all have. The fact that I'm sitting in a house right now with a family and a job and a car means that I have conformed to society to some degree. But he's saying to truly be free, you need to be nonconformist. To think for yourself. And the next line where he talks about he who would gather immortal palms must not be hindered by the name of goodness, but must explore if it be goodness. In other words, if you want to have the fruit of life, the, the, the thing that makes you really live free, you need to not just take what people tell you is good and assume that it is good. Rather, explore goodness for yourself. Just take pipe smoking. Society generally today in 2014 would say that pipe smoking is stupid. It's something your grandfather did. It's something that is, is dead. It's cliche. It's bad for your health. Nobody does it anymore, so then why are you doing it? We do it because, in a sense, we are nonconformists, A, and B, we're doing it because we want to find out for ourselves what is good, not be told what is good for us, thus gathering our immortal palms. My life is not an apology, but a life. It is for itself and not for a spectacle. Emerson is saying that he does not apologize for anything he does, says, writes, thinks. Even in the time in the early 1800s where writings like this were not very popular. Our life is... We never should apologize for our life. Of course, we should apologize for things if we offend others, if we transgress upon other people, but it's still our life, and we should never apologize for who we are. We are pipe smokers. Never apologize for that. It is for itself, our life, and not for a spectacle. We do this because not <coughs> because it is a spectacle. We're trying to prove something to people. We're trying to be something. We do it because we enjoy it. Regardless of what society says. Because we are nonconformist. According to Emerson. This is not a spectacle. This is something I enjoy. Something we enjoy. And we do not apologize for that. What I do is all that concerns me. Not what people think. Sometimes harder than it looks. We do what we do. But we are concerned what people think about us. I think for the most part. Not always, but a lot of times. Many of your videos, those of you who have been on for a while, have, have addressed the topic of um, smoking a pipe in public. And the reactions that you get, or don't get. Good, bad, or indifferent. How many of us still hide our pipe smoking from our friends, our families.
how many of us don't do it out in front of, in public where in places where we're allowed to simply because what people might think he says it's harder because we will always find those who think they know what is our duty better than we know it human nature judgment people think they know better than we do how we should live our lives the tobaccos that we smoke the pipes that we use to smoke them ever since then that's bullshit this is easy to live in in a world excuse me it is easy in the world to live after the world's opinion how many of us are living in the world's opinion? He says it's also easy to, in solitude, to live after our own opinion. So it's easy to do things when no one else is looking, to do the things we want, to be that person we want to be in solitude. The masks that we put on in front of others but when we're alone we take that mask off and that's easy to be that thing in solitude but he says that the great man is he who in the midst of the crowd keeps with perfect sweetness the independence of solitude Who you are alone is who you should be when people are around you. Standing at the ready to judge you and try to make you conform. Because of their insecurities, because of their jealousness. because of their human nature. <laughs> Society conspires to make you conform. What do you guys think? Have I made you fall in love with Emerson today? If so, I've done my job. I've taken Emerson's um, essay on self-reliance and others, and I've taken the very complex language that he's used to write the essay and tried to make it more simple, modern language. Um, and I've interpreted it on my website. Should you choose to go there, if you're more interested in more what he has to say, wisdomjunkie.weebly.com It's there for you. I appreciate your time. I hope I haven't bored you too much. I know uh, the big part of the pipe community is just simply talking about pipes, pipe smoking, tobacco reviews, different types, yabos. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to mix it up just a little bit. I'm trying to combine the two things I love the most. Sharing them with people who may or may not be like-minded. I don't know. I'm putting it out there. Because my life is not an apology. It is a life. Not a spectacle. We'll see you next time, YouTube. Thanks for watching.